evening. Mm, yes. Can we take a look at the Neo Berlin archive? The archive is currently closed. Please return at 11.07 a.m. tomorrow morning. Uh, that's a late start. Of course. It's a government-provided service. But this little girl needs the information tonight. Well, in that case, please provide police permission. Police permission? Yes. Please provide a completed and certified police permission form, and you will be welcome to use the archive immediately. Uh, where can we get that? Just ask any police spot to generate and certify it for you. Uh, thanks. Good night, Beefcake. I don't know the name of Tina's father. To optimize our time, it would be better to find out the name of Tina's father. Tina, can't you remember your father's name? No, I didn't even remember I had a father. How could I remember his name? You were probably too little to remember. Don't you remember it? No, it may have been erased from my memory. Okay, let's find a way to recover your memory. Access the archive? Alright, but to release it to you, I need this authorization signed by an adult human. And the missing person ticket for the person you are looking for. Can I sign the paper? No, only an adult human can do that. Alright, we'll come back when we have the signed authorization and the missing person ticket. Be good and follow the law. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C pattern 18. Do you know how to recover deleted data from a Model SAM? Hey, I'm selling stuff. I'm no hacker. Even if I do sometimes brute force streaming channels to watch Italian football. Um, so you cannot help me access my unreferenced data? No. Neo-Berlin service robots like you are protected by a level 3 firewall. Any attempt to break in will shut down your system. But what if it's just a little information? Like a tiny bit of string? Something I knew very well, that for some reason has been removed. Hmm. In that case, I might have the right thing for you. A recovery pill that Eku, a friend of mine, designed for his pet Polino. Polino was always forgetting his name. He gave me a few samples, but I don't own any robots. So, I could give you one for free. Here, take it. Thank you. Very much appreciated. How does it work? Just shove it down your throat and concentrate on the missing memory. 
The pill will release a series of nanobots, scanning each sector of your drives, analyzing fragments of strings and rebuilding binary sequences. By encrypting serialized ASCII codes and native mapping... Okay, okay. It's enough. Thank you. Anything else? A.B.U.Kowski optical drive, maybe? I'm getting a headache. Better if I go. All right. See you around. Let me focus on Tina's father. Um, it feels weird. But I guess I remember a name now. It's Ren. Ren Herzog. Nice. And now that you say it, it does sound familiar. So my surname is Herzog. Truly German, but I like it. Girl, how can I help you? Could you sign some paperwork for me? No way! I'm never signing anything ever again! You shouldn't either! But it's important! It's an authorization to access the Neo Berlin Archive! Are you sure it's not a contract? Yes. I need to find out more about my dad. In that case, I absolutely would help you. But I'm locked in here. I need a way to leave the stage. Is there really no way to help you escape? Well, I once heard the twins talking about trapping a tutor bot in a stage. Lured her with a hologram of a rock collection, they said. Anyway, to trap her, they must have opened the stage first. The twins? Yes, redheads. You're sure they'll help you? They've offered before. And you refused? That was before I realized how bad my contract really was. I see. I'll go talk to them. Oh, that'd be so great. If it works, meet me at the long road. Hi there. Hey, big head. What's up? Do you know Macy, the singer? Yes. We've met her a couple of times. Great voice. Can you help her escape from the stage? She told me you know how to mess around with pipe stages around town. Uh, of course. We know every secret out of this city. It's a piece of cake. Great. Can you help her then? What's in it for us? I'll owe you. I'll help you whenever you need me. You mean that you will help us for whatever task? We may need a slave? Uh, yes. Okay, fair enough. Meet us at Business Street. Great. See you soon. to release Macy? Not yet. A couple of the valves are stuck. Can you get us some grease? But I have no credits. Not our problem, but if you want to free Macy, we need some grease. All right. We'll look for something. Nope. Will this greasy substance work? Get it here. It should work. Give us a minute, then go check if Maisie got out. Thank you. Goodbye. And remember, you owe us. Catch you when we need a slave.
Get out of town. So, you needed me to sign an authorization form for you? Yes, please. Here it is. Thanks a lot. Bye. See you. Good evening, officer. Good evening, Model SAM-53. How can I help you? About the police permission. Yes? We've got this missing person ticket and this signed authorization. Let me see. Well? All right. Here. Take this permission to access the archive. Thanks a lot. Be good and follow the law. you need. Thank you. Good night, Beefcake. Yes, Tina. And if we want to discover more about him, we should visit his old office in the flat where we all used to live. I don't remember much about the old flat. Me neither. I guess the loss of your mother was a trauma for both of us. I don't want to think about it. Let's see what we can find out about Dad. Hello, humanoid Troy. Hello, Model Sam. What can I do for you? You seem in distress. Is everything all right? Not really. I can't move. I've been here for days. Is your RAM faulty? My RAM? No. My RAM is good. It's my DNA. DNA? I thought only humans had DNA. I'm a humanoid Troy, specially built to take care of a human being. And I contain a code that reacts to her DNA. Where is your human now? My human Gia left me a few months ago. She grew older and was too busy streaming all the time. Then, she simply got rid of me. That's super sad. I hope Tina will never abandon me. Don't worry, Sam. I'll never leave you. Anyway, being away from her DNA slowly affected my functionality. I lost some of my limbs, so I had to replace them with scraps. And since Tuesday, I can't move anymore. I'm stuck here, and no one cares. This is one of the saddest robot stories I've ever heard. How can I help you? Gia always wears a double helix bracelet. It contains her DNA sequence, and also her location. If you can bring it to me, I'll be able to restore my data and walk again. Okay. We will ask Gia to give you her bracelet. She won't just give her bracelet to strangers. But please, don't mention me. Once I can walk again, 
I'll find her and talk to her myself. She wasn't all wrong to abandon me. She grew up, but I kept treating her like a child. The first thing that she should hear about me is an apology from me. All right. We'll try our best to get Gia's bracelet and come back. Thank you very much. See you later. where they used to work. There must be info about him and your dad there too. Here, take this signal disturber. Combined with an online transmitter, it should help you get rid of any bots in your way. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> shows me Gia's location. I'll go visit her. I can't wait. Good luck. I hope she'll drop her transmitter then. What? Oh, nothing. <laughs> 
Well, I'll make sure she stops being online 24-7. Great. Goodbye. Goodbye. I don't need a nanny anymore. You haven't needed a nanny since you were eight. What do you mean? It was me who needed you to feel like my existence still has meaning. Just like your transmitter, all I am is the purpose you give me. You should go home, Gia. Mother probably didn't even notice I was gone. You won't be going back for her sake. You should come home with me, GD. about Joseph. We should tell her his name. in the slums of Neo Berlin. That's your next stop if you want to find out more about your dad. Thanks, I'd better go. Goodbye. <laughs> Such a woman, that Matilda. Or the one when I had a fight with Smirk before he chickened out. Oh, so many memories. But they don't make the Negroni as they used to. Back in 2051, the Negroni there was the best in Neo Berlin. And... Can you please make it short and tell me where the bar is? 
It's not far from here. It's uh, pretty easy to find. The problem is existent, since there's a bioscanner on the way to it. And only human adults can pass the bioscanner. No kids or robots allowed. Whitey, there's no way we can go through? Mm, I don't know how to cheat it to let kids pass. But I used to sneak through my old bed. A cute robo-mouse. I have something that may help. Here, take it. Cool. What is it? It's an emosphere. Charge it with the positive feelings of two humans. Carry it with your robot and it should let you bypass the scanner. Awesome. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. Better if I go. See you. And be careful around the slums of Neo Berlin. Revealing some strong emotions. Hi there. Can I interest you in an electric spoon to enjoy your breakfast? Um, hi. I'm Valentina. Just tell me what you need, little one. I'm sure to have it. Looks like something's bothering you. What do you mean? I have this gadget. It tells me when people miss someone or are sad. You mean an emosphere? I sold one of those last year. Oh, so you know how they work? Yes. So, it's saying I'm emotionally unsettled or something? Yes. And I guess you want to fix whatever's upset me to fill it. Yes. Well, you're in luck. My boyfriend broke up with me. Never something. I thought we were solid, you know? So what happened? No idea. He ghosts me, totally hacks my phone and deletes his number too. Means he won't talk to me. But I need to find out why he left, you know? Maybe I can talk to him. How can I find him? He goes by Eam. Just look him up in cyberspace. But I don't do cyberspace. Then maybe you can find another way to talk with him. I'll see what I can do. Bye!
What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. Who are you? You look like a criminal. Shush! Be quiet! Neo-Berlin police has ears in every corner. But yes, I'm Roscoe Spencer, the most terrible outlaw in Neo-Berlin. You look more funny than scary. Since that swine of a mayor has raised the standard for public decency, I've removed all 42 of my tattoos and my seven piercings. I hate Mr. Rumpf. His chubby, nasty face is all around the city. Yes, hoping to get re-elected. That pig will never get my vote. Neither mine. I guess you are too young to vote. But I liked your attitude. Anything else? Considering you are a criminal... Yes? Do you know how to cheat a biometric scanner to let an underage human pass through it? Ah, that's easy. You just need to build a biometric cheater. First thing you learn in any dark cyberspace tutorial. But I don't have time to get all the materials and such. You know how many posters there are of Mr. Rumpf around the city? Too many. Exactly! How about this? Deface five of them and I'll give you a biometric cheater. Great, I'll do it. It was in my plans already. <laughs> nice! And come back only after you've done five of them. Uh, don't lie to me. I won't. Das Vidanya! Oh, it's revealing some strong emotions. Excuse me. What do you want, Lisa God? Don't you see I'm busy? I sense there's something not right in your sentimental life. How so? I have a type of success. Am I wrong? No, I'm not. I really miss my son, Joe. He hasn't visited me in ages. He spends all his time connected to cyberspace. And forgets about me. That's sad. If my dad were here, I'd spend all my time with him. Sweet God. But yes, if I knew he still loved me. Maybe I can talk to him for you. Where can I find him? Wood. Oh, thank you. He hangs around not far from here, always tripping. All right. I'll go talk with Joe for you. Good luck, little God.
Hey there. Nice helmet you have. What can I do for you? Are you Joe? The son of Hayao? Why are you asking? I was at Hayao's. He told me his son's often tripping around here. All right, all right. Yes, I'm Joe. What does my father want? Well, he's really worried about me. He misses me so much. Oh, that crazy cook. I miss him too. I can't stand his mad ideas. Always going on and on about miso this, sour that. But I'm not into that at all. That's why I stay away. Well, I prefer cyber tripping. It's super cool. Have you tried it? Um, I prefer to avoid it. Your loss. Is there something you can give me to show him you still love him? Hmm. I have a lovely photo of us together that I always carry with me. Great. That'll be perfect. But I can give it to you only if you do me a favor. Ugh, here we go again. What's the favor? The screen of my headset conked out. Can you help me repair it? How can I do that? Oh, easy peasy. Just bring me a bottle of rocket soda. A bottle of soda? Yes, the sodium bicarbonate has a great effect on the bird's screen. Why not get it yourself? I need to walk by my father's restaurant, and I don't want him to see me. He'll bug me again with those lessons of how to blend beer and soy sauce. All right. I'll see what I can do. Stay cool. Here's the bottle of rocket soda. Great. Now I can fix my headset and get back to tripping. What about the photo? Oh, right. Now here it is. I'll go give it to him. Stay cool. Hi there. What's up, kid? I hope you have a good reason to interrupt my delicious meal. About the rump posters. Have you vandalized five of them? Yes, I have. Good girl. But don't do that in the real world. What? Isn't this the real world? It is. It's just a meta game joke. Do avoid lawsuits from parent associations. Whatever. Can you please give me the cheater? Of course. Here it is. Make good use of it. Thanks. Goodbye. Dasvidanya. I talked with Joe. And he gave me this photo. I'm sure he loves you. Oh, thank you. It's so nice. He loves me then. My heart is full of joy. Aren't you worried he spends so much time in cyberspace? I am. But he chose this life. And only he can choose to reject it. But knowing he still loves me, that he loves something outside of cyberspace? It means he has a way back. So I can keep hoping, which makes me so happy. It does? Then, could you charge a bit of my emosphere? Your what? Here. Just touch it. Um, alright. Thank you. I gotta go now. Good luck, little god. Valentina today. 
She needs to know why you broke up with her. Hmm. I guess the police wouldn't recruit a kid to trick me, would they? Just tell Valentina I... I'm sorry. She wants to understand. She's really hurting. Just tell her the old Prime Bovaride bombed. I don't want to drag her down with me. No matter how much I miss her, I love her so much. I'd never forgive myself if the cops went after her. I understand. And please, tell her to never again ask strangers to check up on me. It's not safe. Okay, I'll tell her. Bye. you an electric spoon to enjoy your breakfast? Um, hi. I'm Valentina. Just tell me what you need, little one. I'm sure to have it. I spoke with your boyfriend. Yes? He said the Alt Prime override bombed, and it's not safe to be in contact. What? He knows I don't care if the police are after him. He said he'd hate himself forever and ever if he dragged you into it. But we were supposed to be in this together, no matter what. He said he loves you. And we'll always love you. I guess someday, who knows, right? Are you feeling better? A little sad, but I understand. It sounds like you two really care for each other. But this city, all it does is pull people apart. I'm so sorry. I couldn't make you happy. But I do feel better. I owe you a big one. I'm not sure I can help with the emo sphere, but let me try anyway. It worked. I guess happiness doesn't always mean joy and laughter. I guess sometimes it's just peace. But I'd like to be alone now. Good luck, little girl. Thanks. And good luck to you, too. Bye! to activate when you turn 10 years old. I can't wait a moment longer. I can't help. Sam's encryption is superior. There has to be a way. You remind me of Ren so much. Okay, there's a hacker. He works out of the abandoned hotel in the Asian alley. Goes by Chip. He's the best. If he can't help you, nobody can. Frank at the black market should be able to help you reach him. Thanks. Wait, you have to tell Frank I sent you. Otherwise, he won't trust you. Here. Take my pendant. Give it to him and he'll help you instead of talking your ear off. Um, yeah. Thank you. Take care. Hello. Hi there. What's up? You shouldn't talk with an old hobo. Joseph gave me this pendant so that you can trust us. Let me see it. Oh, yes. It's really Joseph's. What more can I do for you? Joseph told me you might know the code to access Chip's lab. Actually, yes, I do. We need it. Please. All right. If Joseph gave you his pendant, I should trust you. Joseph is one of those men you can trust, no matter what. I remember in 2055, I was walking down the Asian quarter when... Code. Just give me the code. All right, all right. The code is 2442. Thanks a lot. 
Gotta run now. See ya, and be careful around the slums of Neo Berlin. Hey, Tina. I was waiting for you. How do you know my name? And how come you are waiting for me? Neo Berlin has no secrets for me. Wherever there's a terminal, a string of code, a camera, I'm there too. Sounds creepy. Depends on your point of view. But I know so little about you. You haven't used cyberspace much, have you? Barely. Many years ago. I avoid it now. But I have an important mission, and I need your help. Fair enough. Can you help me find the secret code in Sam? There's no data system in Neo Berlin I can't penetrate. And this sounds like a great challenge. So, what do you know about the code? Not much. Just that my dad hid it in Sam. Some sort of code to be revealed to me on my 10th birthday. And did your Sam try to bypass the release date already? He said so. And he tried to retrieve it? Yes, but no luck. Then it must be very well protected. Exciting! Can you do it then? I think I can, but I need you to help me with something. Okay. I need an extra source of power. A car battery will do it. Then I need to understand your dad's way of coding. His coding style's signature, if you will. For that, I need you to copy some of his work onto a floppy disk. Last but not least, a model sound transistor to amplify your robot signal. That's all? If you want, I can add my grocery list. Uh, no, it's okay. Here, take this note just in case. And a floppy to copy your dad's work. Alright, I'd better go. Take care. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Model Sam? Release year 2053, Cat C Pattern 18. Do you happen to have a Model SAM transistor? Of course I do. That's 400 credits. We don't have any credits. Well, I can't give it to you for free this time. Um, can you give it to me for something other than money? Like what, potatoes? Something you really, really need, and that I can find for you. Hmm, there may be something you can do for me. Great, what is it? I'm pretty busy with the shop, but I'm craving my favorite drink. Bring me some gin and neon tonic, and the transistor's all yours. All right, we'll go look for it. See you later. Hello. Hello, 
robot friend. I am detecting that you are drinking a gin and neon tonic. You know your alcohol. My substance identification tool combines spectral and chemical analysis to yield the accurate composition of consumables. It helps prevent unhealthy food consumption and poisoning in children. That's so cool. All SAMs are built this way. Yeah, but it's not only about how you're built, right? A SAM is his programming. And terabytes worth of time you spent with the kid you're assigned to. Yes, spending time with Tina is special. Which makes you more than the sum of your parts. Not unlike people. Humans have free will. How much free will do I have in this city, sitting in this bar? You can leave any time, can't you? Yet, next time you come to Smirks, I'll still be sitting right here. Why? That's a great question to drink to, but I see you don't have a drink. Here, have a glass of the best gin and neon tonic on this side of reality. Um, I'm a robot. Then how about a toast? Okay, I needed this anyway. <laughs> now we're talking to all Keeper of Memories. Mm, cheers? Cheers. Hi there, I'm Roger. How can I help you? Do you know where I can get a car battery? I'm afraid car parts aren't my expertise. Oh man, I really, really need one. Sounds like it's important. Yes, you really can't help me? Well, I can't, sorry. But Paul, the bartender, might. I overheard he was once a car mechanic. Thanks. I'd better go. Cheers. You shouldn't be here, little girl. Please leave. Sounds like you worked in a car shop once. Do you know where I can find a car battery? You can certainly order it, or go to a store and get it. What if you didn't have the credits to buy? Well, I'd be able to take a used battery out of a car, I suppose. How? Well, one does not simply slide a battery out of its power module. Really? Well, okay, you do, but you have to unlock the car first. So, how can I unlock a car? That would generally require a keyless entry system. You need a remote? Yep. Do you have one I can borrow? You have no idea how often customers forgot to drop off their remotes. So I'd get creative, crypting and decrypting, to create something universal. So you have it. Why is it so important? I literally just learned I had a dad. I need a car battery to understand why he abandoned me. The answer may be something you don't want to hear, but okay. Here, take it. Thank you. Um, okay. I guess I'll go. Take care.
We've got this glass of gin and neon tonic. Here, take it. We spilled a few drops on our way here, but it should be enough. Hey, there's facial hair on the glass. But okay, I'm so thirsty that I don't mind. Here, take the transistor. Thank you. You've been very helpful. You bet. You two got so many items from this store. I wonder if the game developer will give me a percentage of the revenues. Excuse me? Oh, never mind. Have fun. Goodbye. I was waiting for you. Regarding the items to hack into Sam. Did you find everything? Yes. Here is all you need. Awesome. Let's take a peek into Sam now. Please, be gentle. Oh, he won't feel a thing. How did it go? I got the code. It's an IP address to a secret cyberspace server. Awesome. But... To finish your dad's mission, it looks like you have to go into cyberspace, but not the ordinary one. A parallel cyberspace that your father built and hid somewhere. And the secret code inside Sam is the key to enter it. Wow. But this means that I have to go into cyberspace. Yes. Is that a problem? I don't like cyberspace. I'm not used to it. I won't risk going myself. Surely your dad coded it for you. I'm afraid there's no other way to complete your dad's mission. Can Sam come with me? Technically, robots are not allowed in cyberspace. But considering this is a unsanctioned server, it shouldn't be a problem. All right then, let's do it. Please drop all items that you don't need and sit on the couch. The gear will automatically copy over the rest into cyberspace. It will take me a few minutes to arrange everything. to complete your dad's mission. You're right, Sam. What now? There should be an in-cyberspace representation of your dad's lab. I'm calculating an 88% chance that he coded clues so you can find it. I suggest that we locate a vantage point from which to examine our surroundings. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> 